You can already see by the way they're gathering up here, they already know I'm gonna feed them. Hey everybody, my name's Melissa. Today I'm gonna be showing you how we feed our fish, what we feed our fish at all of our tanks here. We keep all our food right down here in the freezer. Each drawer has something different. So here we got plankton from Hikari and some bloodworms. We have our brine shrimp with spirulina powder. We have our micey shrimp, of course. Can't go anything where without that. We also have some refried from LRS. Down here, we also have some refried herbivore, also from Hikari. Right here, we have even more reef frenzy, and we also have herbivore frenzy. Most of our fish here are tang, so we specifically gear towards our herbivore friends. So we try to make sure we keep a balanced nutrition, fats, everything that our fish may need. Each of them has different kinds. So for example, we got reef fried herbivore, that's gonna be most of our algae, some seagrass, um, things that are help our tanks to thrive in our tanks. But we also have some carnivorous micey shrimp, and of course our plankton. So how much bags of food do we go through each day? The micey shrimp, I usually go about once per week. Smaller bags like these, we can go through like two a week, two or three, especially when we're looking into exactly what our water chemistry is. If we're really low on nitrates, we might feed twice that week, uh, twice a day that is. So at this point, I re I've already kind of have it figured out how much I want to put in, but usually I measure with my thumb right here. So now I have like about two. I got a two by three right here. That looks good. I'm gonna head back into the lab and we're gonna fill this about halfway, uh, halfway up with RO water. So that way we're not affecting our water chemistry as much. Okay? We know exactly what we're gonna be putting inside our tanks. And we're gonna leave it here to defrost for about an hour. Okay, so I do have one little trick that I use at home in order to get the whole defrosting process going. Um, usually I use is a small seat. So I actually have a couple of pair of reef tanks at night back home. Sorry for the noise right here. And we usually feed the mice and shrimp. They're always frosted, so whenever we want to defrost them, we put them right here. We're gonna pour them a little bit. Let's make sure we get everything. And then we're gonna just drown them in water, warm water. So this doesn't really change the quality of the food, um, especially since we're adding RO, but this does help out if you're ever in a quick jiff and you just wanna get the food defrosted with. You want a really tight seat here, so then you don't get any food like go through and get lost in the drain. I'd recommend like um, a sheet seat with like a smaller diameter, so it's just easier to find everything. Whenever you're dealing with food, with our, our fishy friends here, make sure your hands are nice and clean. Um, I like to dose mine with a little of RO before I get started. So here's our food. I'm gonna fill it up with a little bit of RO again. I fill a roughly a fourth of this to each tank or even more, if, depending on what are the contents inside them. Every once in a while, I also stir this up so that way the like, food is evenly distributed throughout the container. And then just throw, spread it around. So this is our first lab. We've still got a bunch of other labs to go to. These two tanks here are also mostly inverts. We have our blue-legged hermit crabs and we also have turtle snails right up here. And here's our quarantine tank. These guys are always hungry. They're like bottomless pits. And now we're gonna go to lap three. So every tank has a different kind of corals inside. So right here we have most of our softies. We have mushrooms, zoas. So I'm gonna just bang it on the edge of the container here. Make sure I got everything. And then let the propellers do the magic. So here we have two more tanks. 
love this tank. This is so pretty. So we're gonna feed a little bit over here. We also have a couple of freshwater fish right here. We're gonna be using some sinking cichlid pellets right here. This aquarium we actually showed you last week. This is Jolene's. So, so because there's so little, I like to make sure I don't put so much here. For this kind of aquarium, this food will work for just about everybody here. So our clowns, our blenny, our firefly, their shrimp, everybody gets a little bit of what they want. I almost forgot. We got a beta, a little resident beta. So this guy, since he's all alone, I'm gonna feed him just a couple of these pellets, just two or three. May not seem like a lot, but trust me, you'll like it. There you go. He's just gotta find it. Now we're gonna head up top. Got the jellyfish art Zobo right there. Hey. Hey. <laughs> hey. How's it going guys? This is my little tank here in the office. It's still a pretty new tank. And now we're gonna do some feeding time. And my secret little weapon is Vitachem. Uh, Vitachem is an awesome vitamin supplement. It's good for the fish, it's good for the corals, it's good for everything. It has omegas, uh, ufas, fatty acids, amino acids, lots of vitamins. This is great, you can soak the food in it. You can also add it to your tank as well. Um, it's gonna promote healthy fish, vibrant colors, strong immune system, and strong coral growth as well. The corals actually use it as well. So with Vitachem, you can actually put it directly into your aquarium or you can soak it into your food. And it's pretty neat to actually put it in your food. You actually get a better chance of getting those nutrients in your home. Little home frames here. All right, so we're gonna be feeding our main display tank. For a big tank, we're gonna need to go tall. So I'm gonna put this up. For this tank, I usually put like six whole vials of this. So you see we have a lot of anthias. We have two, a couple butterflies. We have a whole lot of tangs, chromis. A lot of these guys are herbivores. They really need that whole algae, more some grass, more veggies. And that's what we put in here. So the other major aquarium we have here in the main lobby is our jellyfish. So these guys are on an automatic feeder of just little brine shrimp right here. We have our feeding tube, which actually does supply the jellyfish with their food. And as you can see, we do have a little bit more left. So I like to use this to feed our rock anemones. And uh, the rest I'll put in some, of, I'll just distribute to the rest of the tanks. I usually don't go anymore for a vial for rock anemones. And we spot feed them. So it's very important that we don't blast them or anything. Uh, thanks for watching guys. Hope you have a great day.